Hey guys, it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing something new with you, some new curriculum that we have. Um, it's from The Good and the Beautiful. This is level six. And The Good and the Beautiful graciously sent me this language arts package so that I could use it and review with you. So I'm just gonna um, give you a quick overview and give you a little peek inside each one of these items. Um, my I just want to note in the beginning, um, my daughter, she's in sixth grade now, technically, um, and she'll be going into seventh grade um, when we start our new school year, and she's using level six. I will link down below to um, a placement test that you should take for each one of your students because their levels do not correspond to um, grade levels. So make sure your, your child definitely takes the placement test. So she tested into level six so we're going to be using that and I do think it's um, the perfect spot for her to start so all right I'm just going to jump in this is the course book this is what you um, this is the you know the main book for the language arts um, hopefully you can see down here I apologize it's a little bit sunny out here I'm outside with the kids as usual <laughs> um, okay so like I said this is a language arts package however look at what it includes literature grammar and usage, punctuation, art, geography, spelling, vocabulary, and writing. So it's not your typical language arts curriculum. Art and geography, never really included in language arts, right? So she is super excited about this. So I'll just take you inside. In the beginning, you have a lot of information about this course and how to use this book. Then we've got spelling list and spelling words to practice. They can write that down, um, all the words they spell inc incorrectly, and then we can review them. Reference sheets. And let's see if I can actually do this here. Okay. So just to give you a peek inside a lesson with the win, right? Okay, so we'll do lesson two. Okay, so you've got your spelling. The words in blue are for the parent, okay? And then you have these check marks. So you have check mark for spelling, check mark for your vocab. So you've got spelling, vocab, a little bit to read. Then you turn the page. You see there's a little check mark on each thing here. Abbreviations. Write an opening paragraph. You've got fill in the blanks here. There's some stuff about George Washington to read and answer the questions. Sentence diagramming. And then over here we have geography, Australia. You're gonna follow the instructions. You'll be studying the geography of Australia and its surrounding countries. Sorry about that. In this course, place tracing paper, which we do have over the map below and trace and label all the parts of the map. Oh my goodness, sorry about the wind. So I love that it has geography and art in it. Let me see if I can flip through. Just to give you a quick um, peek. It's full color. The pictures are gorgeous. There's, see all the art? We're gonna be studying art. They're gonna be drawing and tracing and she's using pastels because she's in level six. Um, so she is super excited about this and so am I. I just think it's gorgeous and I love, it's so different, I feel like, than a typical um, language arts program. So, there's the course book. Um, now, actually, let me see if it was in here. I think it was in here. There is a, yep, here we go. The daily checklist. This is her daily checklist. Complete the following items each day. Practice grammar cards or geography cards. Complete one lesson. Read books from the good and beautiful list. So, she does have a course reader. This is her level six reader. In here, there's three books that she's gonna be reading and it will tell her in the course book what she is supposed to read in this book, in this reader. And then this book was also included. It's one of the main books for level six. So she's got three books in the reader and then this book. So these four books are the main books. And then like I said, you can pick, um, Jenny Phillips gives you a, um, she offers a book list 
for all the levels and what we're going to do is just pick from the level six section and um, add in some extra readers uh, literature for her year so I'll do a separate video on what we're going to use for her extra books at some point these are the geography and grammar cards we haven't opened these yet but they are perforated you can see and we're just going to place these in um, uh, the index card holder this is the handwriting this is extra this isn't technically included in um, in the level six pack um, the language arts but I wanted to give you a peek at this because I love it I've also never seen a, ge a um, handwriting program like this so you have your typical right a lot of most of this is cursive in this book however look there's art woven in this book too so she's gonna sketch all that almost every single lesson has something to sketch even though it says handwriting she's copying a picture using a graph as a guide um, she's learning the states and their capitals she's learning presidents in here there's scripture in here there's poetry in here so it's so much more than just your your typical um, handwriting program and I love it love it love it love it so cute so that's the handwriting and then of course there's an answer key and that is for me and um, there's not every single lesson in the course book it's not every single lesson in here it's only the lessons that you'll actually need an answer for some of them are obviously pretty self-explanatory but this is the answer guide for me so that's it that is a level six um, language arts with the good and the beautiful I will be doing plenty more videos and blog posts, and I will link um, the blog posts down below the videos for you. I'm going to be sharing um, a lesson when she's doing it and um, just uh, give you a good review week after week. So make sure you check out the links below. Give this video a thumbs up for me and subscribe if you are new, and I will see you next time. Bye.